Introduction Meeta is growing apace. Her mother is worried. She takes Meeta to a doctor. The doctor examines her. She advises Meeta to stop eating junk food such as burgers, pizzas, samosas, etc. and asks her to start eating a balanced diet rich in proteins, vitamins and minerals. In this lesson you will learn about different types of food and their importance. Objectives At the end of this lesson you will be able to Classify food Define energy giving food Define bodybuilding food Define protective food List the sources of food for plants and animals List good food habits Food we eat a lot of variety of food. Food is made up of nutrients like carbohydrates, fats, proteins, vitamins and minerals. Human body requires three types of food. They are energy giving food, bodybuilding food and protective food. Energy giving food. Energy giving food gives us energy to do work. Energy-giving food is rich in carbohydrates and fats. Rice, wheat, potato, oil and butter are examples of energy-giving food. Rice, wheat and potatoes have carbohydrates. Oil and butter have fats. Bodybuilding food. Human body needs protein-rich food to grow. Food rich in protein is called bodybuilding food. Human body requires protein to grow. Milk, eggs, meat, cheese and gram are examples of bodybuilding food. Protective food. Food rich in vitamins and minerals protects us from diseases. Therefore it is called protective food. Green leafy vegetables such as spinach and cabbage Carrots and fruits have lots of vitamins and minerals. Now it's time to check what you have learnt. Match the following food items to their correct nutrients. Vegetables We get our food from plants. The various parts of plant is eaten as vegetables. We eat different parts of a plant as vegetables. The various plant parts are roots, stem, leaves and seeds. Carrots, turnips and radish are roots. Potatoes, onions and garlic are stems. Spinach and cabbage are leaves. Peas and beans are seeds. Food for plants. Let us now understand where plants get their food. Plants make their own food with the help of sunlight. Plants take water from the soil and prepare food in their leaves. The plant takes up some part of food and the rest is stored in its roots, stem, leaves and seeds. Food for animals. Let us learn about what animals eat. Some animals eat grass, leaves and plants. They are known as herbivorous. Examples of herbivorous are cows, deer, etc. Some animals eat other animals. They are known as carnivorous. Examples of carnivores are lions, tigers, etc. Some animals eat both plants and other animals. They are known as omnivores. Examples of omnivores are bear, dogs, etc. Vegetarian and non-vegetarian. Plant products like fruits, vegetables and dairy products are vegetarian food. People who eat them are called vegetarians. 
animal products like meat, eggs and fish are non-vegetarian food. People who eat them are called non-vegetarians. Good food habits Good food habits help us to stay fit and healthy. Let us learn some good food habits. Always wash your hands with soap and water before and after meals. Wash fruits and vegetables before eating. Avoid junk food. It is time to check what you have learnt. Summary Let us summarize what we have learnt. Food is made up of nutrients like carbohydrates, fats, proteins, vitamins and minerals. Energy-giving food is rich in carbohydrates and fats. Bodybuilding food is rich in proteins. Protective food is rich in minerals and vitamins. Plants make their food in their leaves. People who eat vegetables, fruits and dairy products are called vegetarians. People who eat meat, eggs and fish are called non-vegetarians. We should follow good food habits to stay fit and healthy.